so click on the browser and type here flutter click on this link yeah so here flutter official website will be open we will click on the get started so we are creating this lecture on the mac os machine so we will click here mac os so friend before creating the first flutter application you should be sure that you have already set your mac os environment for ios android and web browser and i have already created the lecture on this topic so friend if you did not set your environment so i have given the link in the description box so you can follow the link and set your environment so in this lecture we will set the editor so we will click in the left side set up in editor so in the flutter you can use visual studio code and android studio as a ide so you can use any one ide for creating your flutter application so we are creating this lecture with visual studio code editor so we will click on the visual studio code so visual studio code is a code editor to build and debug app so for this first of all in your system visual studio code should be installed so we will check here click on the search and check here visual studio so in my system visual studio code is not already installed so we will install it so we just click on the vs code and open a new tab so here official link of the visual studio code will be open so we just click on the download here and you can download from here so suppose i am click here download so here another option will be show we are using visual studio code in windows linux and in the mac so in this video we are using visual studio code in mac os so we will follow this link so here two option is given with the zip and with the cli so you can follow one of them so in this lecture we will follow with zip extension so we just click on the universal so visual studio darwin initial we will download inside the download folder you can download any other folder if you want so we just click here save so downloading process will be started so it will take few minutes it will depend on your internet speed so we just wait for it a few moments later yeah so now visual studio code is downloaded so we just check inside the downloaded folder so we go inside the download and here downloaded zip is showing so we just double click on it and just drag and drop inside the application and just close it so now we search here visual studio code and visual studio code is showing here so we just click on this just click here open visual studio code is opened we will follow all other step that is pending in the instruction so here visual studio code is downloaded and now visual studio code is available in our application so other option is that here start the visual studio code so we will follow all the steps given here for visual studio code so here second step is that open browser and go to the flutter extension page on the visual studio marketplace and click install after installing we also install the dart extension so now we will go inside the visual studio code and here that is the option of the extension inside the left so here we will click inside the extension and search here 
so we have not installed any extension yet so we just type here flutter and search here so here the first option is the flutter so we just click on this and here you can read about this extension so this is the visual studio code flutter extension so we just install it so we just click on the install so in the few seconds flutter extension will be installed inside the visual studio code editor yeah so, so after installing so here disable button and uninstall option will be show so it means that flutter extension is installed accurate so now we click inside explorer and just go inside the browser and check here other options so now we have installed the flutter extension so flutter extension automatically install the dot extension also so if we check inside the extension and and type here dot so you can see here dot is installed because here disable and uninstall option is showing so it means that dot is automatically installed when we have installed flutter so the another option is that now we go inside the view and command palette you can also press with your keyboard command plus shift plus p or if we are using a windows machine so you can type here control shift and p so we go inside the visual studio code click on the explorer and type here command shift and p so this option will be show here view and here command palette so this option you can open with command shift p or with view inside view command plate so now so we just type here run flutter doctor yeah so after running flutter doctor we found here no issue found because here all things is already installed we have installed google chrome we have installed visual studio code and we have android studio xcode so all things we have already installed and setting all the environment so when we set all the environment for ios android and web so you will find here no issue so if you are facing any issue here so you should set your environment before running the first application so now the next step we will follow here next we will select here flutter run doctor we have run this command here so this is the editor setup and we have done this step so now we will click here test drive so inside the test drive so in the test drive we will create a first flutter application so we just click here view and command palette and here we will select a new project select applications so we will follow all these steps and create a first application and again after setting and after creating the application we will run the application and follow these steps and try hot reloading so all these steps we will follow in the test drive so we just click inside the visual studio code and go inside the view and command palette and type here flutter new project so we just select this so here different different option is showing so a flutter application with descriptive comment and test so we can select here application empty application skeleton application module package so different different option is given here so we will discuss all these in our future videos a first application we will create here with the application so we just select here application so flutter sdk we have added inside the document and flutter sdk is here so you can 
select this folder or you can select any other folder so suppose I am selecting here document and select a folder to create the project so we just type here enter for just confirmation so the flutter first application is created so this is actually the path of the flutter application so my flutter application is inside the document and this is the name of the first flutter application so i am just click trust and trust here yeah so here your first flutter application is created now so by default this file will be open main.art so actually this is the file is a starting file so if you have already work in the react native and other applications so you know that in the react native like app.js is the first file but here main.art is the first entry file so here main.art is the entry file so this file will be automatically open and here you can see android folder for the android application and here ios folder for the ios application and here we can create application for mac os itself so this is the mac os folder and this is the web folder for the web browser and this is for the windows folder for the windows application so all different different folder will be created automatically when we create our first dart application so we can run the same code for all the platforms we just select here start debugging we can run our application from here but before running our application we can select here any device so this is the notification one notification is showing here so the left side of the notification here you can see no device is selected so we just click here and we can select here any device so here different different options is showing for web for desktop for mobile simulator for mobile emulator so you can select any one of them so suppose i want to run this application on the mac os so we just select here mac os desktop so this is the mac os desktop so we just click this and we just run here I am selecting here directly you can press here or you can select here and start debugging so in the few seconds your application will be show and you can see here a stop use all these buttons will be show here so we can stop our application from here if you want so this is the first flutter application is running on the mac os itself so this application is for the mac os so actually this message you have pushed the button this many times so actually this uh, message is showing from the dart main dot dart all things in the flutter is a widget so inside the widget here is the text so this message is showing here so flutter actually provide the hot reload feature so this is also given here so this is the process for the running our application so so try hot reload so actually hot reload feature provide a fast refreshment feature so actually hot reload is a fast reload feature we can check our changes immediately suppose without any reloading so suppose i am changing this text you can change any text so this is the example here so suppose i am typing here and just save this so you can check here text is immediately changed you can change here any text yeah so your text will be immediate changes because flutter provide the hot reload feature so like this you can stop from here so at the red cross symbol we just click and your application will be stop here so here running device uh, we can again change here we just click here and i want to run our application on the ios simulator so i am just press ios simulator 
yeah so friend here you can check that now your flutter application is running inside the simulator so in the same way you can select here any device suppose i am now stopping this application you can just click on the stop button and just click here and selecting here mobile emulator and just press start debugging yeah so now application is running on the android device so we can select here any other device if you want so you would just click here and suppose i want to run this application on the chrome so i just select here chrome browser and now you can see here chrome web browser is showing and we just start debugging again yeah so now our application is running on the web browser so like this we can run our application on the different different devices so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching